for us, the storm is huge and now it's forecast to get stronger. So let's go forward in time. Again, this is the new track just coming in. I'll pause it one more time as it approaches southwest Florida. You can see there as a five and makes landfall maybe around 2 p.m. as a category four. So what the Hurricane Center is now forecasting is really a nightmare scenario. The storm, as we've been discussing, the extremely warm waters in the Florida Straits. We're talking some of the war warmest water temperatures on the planet, close to 90 degrees. After interacting with land, where it is forecast to weaken just a bit, it will get over those warm waters. And now the forecast calls for the storm to intensify into an incredible Category 5 hurricane matching the same winds of Hurricane Andrew, but this one is three to four times larger. And then making landfall, as you can see, this would be sometime Sunday morning, noontime, around one or two o'clock in the afternoon. As of five, maybe a four at this point, with the winds beginning to weaken just a bit. Now let's go forward in time, and I'll, I have to apologize ahead of time for the graphic because I haven't been able to uh, redo the camera as we call, but there's the landfall on Florida's southwest coast, either as a five or a category four, and then moving up Florida's west coast, category four. So this would move it past uh, Marco Island, Naples, move it towards Sarasota and areas around Tampa, and then continuing to move off toward the west and the northwest, eventually moving away. So this is catching a little bit all of us, I think, a little bit uh, off guard. Uh, the just the the fact that we've been dealing with this incredibly powerful storm, and now it's forecast to perhaps get even stronger as it makes landfall. Again, the breaking news here at five o'clock: the storm forecast to become a Category Five, and as you can see, make landfall on Florida Southwest Coast either as a five or a four. Put that in perspective in recorded history. We've only had three Category 5s ever hit the United States. One was Andrew. The other was the Labor Day hurricane of 35 that hit the Keys. And the third was Camille back in 1969. So this one, we're talking about, again, a worst case scenario, a huge, powerful storm making landfall maybe as a Category 5 on Florida's southwest coast, and then moving up the entire state, spending about 12, 15 hours moving across the state.